Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for allowing me to speak on this resolution that establishes the month of May as Haitian Heritage Month in New York. The designation of Haitian Heritage Month commemorates the heart and soul of the people of Haiti here in New York and our home country, the island of Haiti, the first Black Republic. It commemorates leaders like Jean-Jacques Dessalines, who defeated Napoleon and French colonists at the Battle of the Vertiers in 1803, setting the stage for freedom across the Americas. General Toussaint Louverture, who commanded his revolutionary army to victory, and Haitian women revolutionaries like Marie-Jean Lamartiniere, who fought as a soldier in the indigenous army, and Catherine Flan, a nurse who, like Betsy Ross, is credited with crafting a flag, the independent Black Republic of Haiti flag in 1803, and Jean-Baptiste Dussabo, the first settler of Chicago, known as the father of Chicago. We commemorate Jean-Michel Basquiat, one of the defining artists of the 20th century, and Jackson George, a painter, both Haitian, and our modern day leaders like actor Jamie Hector and reporter Vladimir Dutiers, we celebrate our food like griot, black rice, plant, plantains, ganadia juice, and rum, of course, zush soup jumu, which we drink on Independence Day. We celebrate the nature of our people to serve as healthcare heroes, a great number who serve on the front line during the worst days of the pandemic as doctors, nurses, and home health care aides. We also celebrate the growing numbers of Haitian American legislators, public officials, and electeds across the state of New York. New York is a symbol of freedom to people worldwide, and Haiti was the first free Black nation in the Western Hemisphere. We as a people have been fighting for our freedom for generations after generations, including for America. When we fought alongside the Union in the Battle of Savannah, we seized the beacon of freedom that America promised. We helped create it. Without the revolt in Haiti, Jefferson, Monroe would never have been able to get the bargain that they did on the Louisiana Purchase. We are thankful we are finally recognizing May as Haiti Heritage Month, the month that we also celebrate Haitian Flag Day, which is on May 18th, and also Haitian Unity Day in Albany. Although this has not been an easy time for Haitians, we remain resilient. And as the first Haitian American woman to be elected in New York City, and first from New York City to serve in Albany as a state legislator, and as a proud resident, of Little Haiti, Brooklyn, which recently welcomed the train station rededication that is now named Little Haiti, Newkirk Avenue, and with the surrounding streets that are named after our Black revolutionaries. I thank you all supporting this recognition of our culture and history. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.